Do you want do you want my do you want my classic how Corey Graves got to England story? Sure. <laughs> I've told this uh, I've told this about a million times. Um uh when we were getting ready for the first show, uh we had a bis booked and they were trying to book Sinister Minister Jim Mitchell to come and uh and manage him because that's what was going on in the impact of the time. Mm-hmm. But uh Mitchell had a day job and uh you know, it would have meant it would have meant taking time off work to fly over there and blah blah blah. And I guess the price that he asked was was too high for the promoter. And the promoter said to me, "I I don't know what we're gonna do." And I said, "I've got a guy. I've got a guy who can talk. He can work his ass off. He is incredibly charismatic. I promise you." If you bring this kid over and and make him a Biss's mouthpiece, he's going to get over so huge that within two years, he will be your one PW champion. And I was absolutely wrong because it only took one year. And I, brought, I convinced him to bring over Corey Graves, and a year later, he was one PW champion. So, uh, yeah, I... I when I moved to Pittsburgh the second time in uh, late spring of 99, um, he was, he was 15 years old and he was training and um, we, a caravan of us, a bunch of cars drove to West Virginia for his first match because he only had to be 16 to wrestle in West Virginia. Mm -hmm. And And I've, I've never looked at anybody in their first match and said, you know, this kid's going to do something. This kid's going to, he's going to be something. And I, I've never been prouder of being right about something. Mm-hmm. He, he's, he was fantastic. And unfortunately his in ring came to an end early. And, uh, but, you know, I remember you know, him telling me, he he said to them, "I'm not done yet," and mm-hmm. he's not. And there's he's... a look. If you're on video with us, that's a look at what. Uh, oh, look that, at that! That's Sterling James Keenan sometime in the 2000s before he cut the hair. It's about when <laughs> I was introduced to him, and uh, he is the guy. Uh, my classic, my classic uh, uh, compliment of Sterling James Keenan, and that would be probably about this era that I'm about to pick up. I don't remember any other time where somebody came through the curtain. And I just felt dirty for seeing him doing an entrance, you know, just like, like, like he just like that. The, yeah. There, the, the hustler, uh, uh, you know, I was like, this guy just seems so greasy and I, you know, and, and just this persona and everything. And it's just like the entire room got filthy, you know? <laughs> so I, when I was, uh, running, uh, wrestlers union shows, my promotion is called union of independent professional wrestlers. Right. Right. They say the union or wrestlers union. When I started running here in Toronto in 2007, I was bringing him up and I put him together with a couple of people in a stable and, uh, and I called the stable um, BDSM blood death sex magic, (laughs) because I thought, I thought this is just filthy enough to work. 